to my channel and if you're new here thank you so much for clicking on today's video today i'm going to take you guys shopping with me we're going to go to home goods and hobby lobby just kind of check out some of the spring decor and things that they have and then at the end of this video i'm going to give you guys a little haul of all the stuff that i picked up so i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you do and if you're new here please consider subscribing before you go i would love to have you and let's go ahead and get started would you So we're starting out in Hobby Lobby and I didn't get a ton of footage, but I did want to show you guys several of the different sections in the store with spring decor, starting with the front here, all of these blue and white patterned items like kitchenware. And you'll see in my haul in just a little bit, a couple of things that I picked up and just wait till you guys see Dolly Parton's collection at Hobby Lobby. I had no idea until I went the other day that she had a collection there. It is so, so beautiful. So I did want to mention because I always forget about this at Hobby Lobby, but the day that I went was 40% off all of the things in their spring collection. And it's always important to check the tags on every item because so many of these things were labeled spring collection, but are more than just something you can use in springtime. They would work for so many different seasons. So always make sure to check the tag when you're shopping. Sometimes you can get a really good sale on something that's labeled for a certain season or holiday, and you can use it all year round. So now I am moving on to the footage I got from Home Goods, and I didn't get a lot here either. It was a lot more crowded at Home Goods than it was at Hobby Lobby, but I made sure to get plenty of clips of all the florals because the wreaths and the flower arrangements are just to die for. So good. I guess I can help myself. Would you Right, so I laid everything out here on my kitchen counter to share with you guys what I picked up and it's all in kind of like a random order. So I'll do my best to tell you where everything is from. It's all either Hobby Lobby or Home Goods, but I'll be sure to tell you where I got it from. So let's just start on the left and we'll work our way over. This is definitely worth mentioning. This was one of my most favorite things that I found at Hobby Lobby today. Um, this is Dolly Parton's line. So you can see here on the tag, um, Dolly has her own line now at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if this is just like a limited time thing or if it's going to be permanent, but she has a collection at Hobby Lobby and I fell in love with this teapot. I don't have any teapots like this. I don't, I have a tea kettle that I use to boil water, but I don't have any teapots. And I was thinking I could definitely use this, but also such a beautiful piece of decor. Um, I'm going to kind of tell you guys at the end of this video, what my plan is for some of these things. Um, and I think that this is going to look really good where I'm thinking I want to put it. But if you are interested in this like floral pattern, pretty much everything from that line is in this floral pattern. There were plates and bowls you probably saw in the, um, in the tour that I just gave you guys in the shop with me part, but so many amazing things in this pattern. I just love it. And so this is from Hobby Lobby. This is also from Hobby Lobby. So I kind of want to get some more of these glass jars, but I thought I would start with just one. And this is, I have a plan for this, either to put some stuff in it to give it some color, um, kind of like I did here with this basket that I also just got at Hobby Lobby. The lemons I already had. I think these are from Target. But I have kind of an idea to fill some of these things with either fruits or flowers or just something to kind of, you know, bring some new life to them. But these kind of things are really inexpensive. Um, I should be telling you guys how much all these things are. So this is $8 full price. Everything was 40% off. So five bucks 
for a jar like this and, and it has just unlimited options that you can use to decorate. Same thing with um, this basket here. This is also from Hobby Lobby, has a little handle, can be used for so many different seasons. And same thing with this set of jars here. So I love this. They had so many different at Hobby Lobby, so many different sets of jars like this. So this is just a set of two. Um, they also had some sets that were three smaller ones or two larger ones. This is the one I went with because I like how it has um, the wire up here at the top. I think this would be great for flowers. We're just gonna kind of have to see what I end up um, doing with it, but I just love this. These kinds of pieces you can make work for just about any season or any holiday. These are very much spring. I got these at Hobby Lobby. They tell, they sell tons of like these little fillers that you can use for just about anything. My idea is to use them um, in the tiered tray that I have in my kitchen. And then whatever I don't use on the tiered tray, I'm sure I will find another place for them. These would even look super cute um, in this jar. So you kind of get the idea um, of what I'm saying by like making these work for different seasons and holidays. So. Love that. Um, this was another Hobby Lobby find, this beautiful pitcher. And I just kind of like how it's been designed to look like it's tarnished a little bit. Um, just super pretty. You can let it be a statement on its own or you could put some flowers in it. I have tons of fake flowers. I didn't really get very many florals because I had a ton that I got last year from like Michaels and stuff. So um, I could either fill this with florals or leave it as is. I just love the color. I think it adds a nice pop of blue in my kitchen and really matches my countertops. Like so nice, I love it. Um, this is another Hobby Lobby find. It's just a milk jug, plain milk jug. I have something similar to this in terms of color upstairs in my master bedroom. This is definitely a lot more kitchen since it is a milk jug and you could do again the same thing just let it speak you know as its own or fill it with some flowers and do it that way and all of these things are pretty neutral depending on how you end up using them so um oh i'm doing really bad about telling you guys prices so this was eight dollars full price which means it was five dollars on sale since all their spring stuff was 40 percent off and then i think the next thing is from Home Goods. Yes. So um, shout out to Jack's aunt. So Jane, if you're watching this, thank you. She gave me a gift card recently and I got some really good stuff at Home Goods and um, two other things that I will sneak in at the end of this video just to show you, but I'll probably update in another video as well. So I got this at Home Goods. It is just a very heavy duty pitcher. It has like the little pour spout. What I love about this, I don't know if you guys can see just cause it's like so dark, but there's like dirt inside of here, like fake dirt, but it looks so realistic. And I honestly am super impressed with even the way these tulips look, they just look very real. And you know, nicer quality fake floral arrangements like this definitely are not cheap. Um, this one was $25, but it is so well worth it because these look incredibly realistic and so vibrant and beautiful and definitely well worth your money because you guys know real floral arrangements are super expensive too. And so it would cost a lot of money to have to continue to replace these with real tulips. And so I just absolutely love how that looks. Um, I did get a couple of candles. It wouldn't be a home goods trip if I didn't do that. Their candles are really affordable. So this is a $7 candle. I love the um, color of this jar and it actually smells, <laughs> it says clean laundry. It genuinely really does smell like clean laundry. Very, very fresh scent. So I love that. And then I did get a Ray Dunn candle and I love these Ray Dunn jars. I save them and then I just put um, candles, like non-scented candles in them when I'm done and just continue to reuse the jar because I really feel like that's what you're paying for anyway. Um, this one was also, I believe, okay, so this one was $7.99. Um, and this one is lavender scented, but like I said, when I'm done burning it, I'll just probably put like another candle in it or something like that. And then moving over here, this is my other Ray Dunn find. And this was from Home Goods as well. They had a ton of things at my Home Goods. It was like Dunn Lover's Paradise. So this one um, is blue and it says shower. They had, I'm sure you saw, they had like pink ones. They had the little bird houses. I thought I was gonna get the bird house, but I decided to go with this. I really need some more color. So I didn't wanna go with like white or black. I think a pop of color is definitely necessary and needed. So I love this. 
All right, I'm gonna try to like pull these forward a little bit more so you can see them better. Um, so I did get a couple of signs and Hobby Lobby's, this, these two things that I'm gonna show you are from Hobby Lobby. So all of Hobby Lobby's signs were 50% off. So this one says sing. I'm pretty sure this one's gonna go in the studio. It was $10.99 origi originally, so $10. So I got it for five and I just absolutely love the color of this, the style of this, the fact that it says sing. If you guys don't know, um, my major in college was music. I'm a music, I was a music major. I'm a music teacher, so this will be very appropriate in my music studio. And then, oh gosh, I'm dropping everything. <laughs> um, and then I got this one too. Now this one could go in the studio, but I also feel like it could totally go somewhere else. I love the colors and this is just one of my favorite hymns too. I just really love this. So we'll have to kind of see where this ends up going. But again, all of these signs were 50% off. This one was $11.99. So I got this one for six bucks. Just totally beautiful. I mean, really, this stuff doesn't have to cost a fortune for it to be pretty. So I love it. That's really nice. And then two more things I got from Hobby Lobby. So first of all, I didn't realize that uh, Hobby Lobby had Ray Dunn stuff, but I guess they do. And I have never seen any Ray Dunn utensils before. I don't know. Maybe I've just been living under a rock, but I am pretty much obsessed with these and they're mini utensils, which is perfect because I don't cook for a lot of people. I have been needing um, a mini whisk and they're all silicone. So nonstick, they won't scratch any of my pans. I love the mini spatula, the mini like baster there. Oh my gosh, so nice. And the tongs, I really just... I could not pass this up. And even though this was Ray Dunn, this is part of the spring collection. So it was 40% off. So it would have been $20 for all of these. So 40% off of that. Um, I, I mean, I really did save like quite a bit of money on this. So I love these. I cannot wait to use them. All right, so the last thing is this kitchen sign and I backed up a little bit so you guys could see the whole thing. And now it's the perfect time for me to tell you my plan for this and my plan for at least some of these items. So I have seen it recently on Pinterest and I have been wanting to try this for a while and we'll just kind of have to see how it goes. But let me back up so you guys can see my kitchen cabinets. Um, they don't go all the way to the ceiling and I have just been wanting to do something above them to kind of decorate. So it's this way. It's like this along the whole way here. It's like this over here above my microwave and then over here like above the refrigerator. So I went ahead and stuck one piece up here on top of the fridge. This is kind of what I'm going for. I want to make more use of my vertical space. I want to stop using the top of my refrigerator as catch-all. So I think by decorating up there, I'm hoping to eliminate that problem. And then I want to decorate up on top of maybe not all, but some of these cabinets just to kind of give it a little more interest. So I'm sorry if I'm making you dizzy by running around like that. <laughs> but anyway, my thought is to put the kitchen sign in the middle of this cabinet area here and then kind of decorate around it. Now I don't want to overcrowd it, don't want it to be cluttered and I don't want it to look kitschy. So I'm gonna play with it. You guys will see this in my spring decorate with me. I'm gonna play around with some of these things, just kind of see the teapot, like certain things that are breakable and special that I might want to display on top of my cabinets and just kind of see how that goes, see how it looks. I'll report back. You guys will have to check out my um, spring decorate with me so you can see it. But now I'm gonna run you guys upstairs and show you the last two things that I got today at Home Goods because I literally can't wait and I wanna show you now. <laughs> okay, so the sun's going down, so you're gonna have to ignore the lighting up here. But the first thing that I got today at Home Goods is this bench here for the end of my bed. And you guys, I am so obsessed with how this looks. So first of all, um, if you guys have been around for a while, then you know pretty much all of my furniture here in my bedroom is brand new. I moved my old bedroom furniture and stuff down into my guest room to make that space nice and inviting for guests. And then I wanted to get some new stuff to kind of spruce up the master bedroom. So this bench I just picked up today from Home Goods. It was $130. Most of the benches at Home Goods are around the $120 to $150 price point. Um, what I love about this one, I'll show you a couple of details. So 
first of all, when I zoom in, you can see it's like got blues, it's got grays, it's cream, and it just matches with literally every finish and texture and color that's in this bedroom. I could not have found a better color if I tried. <laughs> and then my other feature that I love about it is it is a storage bench. So I haven't put but one blanket in here just to kind of see like what it'll hold, but it is so deep. And of course, Josie's probably going to go in there, um, <laughs> but it is so deep and so big and you know, it'll fit pets too. So, so I'm very excited um, to fill this up with like all of my extra blankets and throw pillows and stuff just so I can make some more space in my linen closets. I love pieces of furniture that serve multiple purposes. So this is decorative and beautiful. It is also incredibly functional. So I can store things in it and I can also sit on it. I'm going to move her. Get out. But anyway, I can also sit on it and I can like put on shoes or I can kind of get dressed in the morning and stuff. And that's what I love about it too. And I like how it's cream. So it's a little off white, goes so nicely with all of my new bedding. I am literally obsessed with this. Okay. So now let me go, let me show you guys the other piece. Okay. So here is the last piece. And of course there's like cat toys everywhere. So ignore that. <laughs> but anyway, the last piece I wanted to share with you guys is this brand new mirror. And I am obsessed. I have been wanting a full length mirror in this space for a minute. And this is the perfect size. So this little area here, like my ceiling is slanted, so it couldn't be too tall because it would like bump into the ceiling. I wanted it to have to be wide, but not too wide because I'm also at some point trying to like put in a dresser here along this wall, like another dresser or some kind of other clothing storage thing. <laughs> but I love the color on it because it ties so nicely into my white dresser and it just makes all the furniture feel like it goes together really well. My favorite part about this is it is dual purpose. It is also, it's really hard to see, but it's also a blanket ladder on the back. So what I am so excited about this for is I can hang my blankets and stuff and get them out of the linen closet. So any blankets that I want to throw on my bed or that I'm not using can stay behind here. And they honestly stay pretty hidden. I could see this being used as like a decorative piece or, you know, somebody using it as they want to show off their blankets. But I kind of see it more as like a, I can hide blankets that I'm not using right now behind it and it serves two functions. So now when I film like videos for fashion, affordable fashion and things like that, I have a much bigger mirror to show you guys like what my outfits look like. So, you know, here's my like shopping fit for today. <laughs> but anyway, this is the new mirror and I'm so excited. This room is like just completely transformed. I mean, in the last like six months, I can't even believe it. So this is the new mirror and you can see for size reference, like how big this mirror is and ignore like all my clothes over here. But for size reference, this is the mirror I was working with. So like literally this thing is so small compared to the new one. So <laughs> this is way better. I'm obsessed. I love it. I hope you guys like it too. That's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing with your bell notifications turned on. That way you don't miss my spring decorating with me video that's gonna be coming out really soon. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I will see you guys really soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.